How has Gilbert Melendez's legacy changed after testing positive for performance enhancing drugs? Uh, also, you're welcome for getting you that extra video real quick. Um, how has it changed? <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think it's affected his legacy at all. I was just looking at his record on on on, um, on Sure Dogs Fight Finder. Um, I, I feel like the 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 positive performance enhancer. Do you do you remember when that happened? How long ago was that? Was it was it? Is this his that first fight the, back? The Eddie, no, that was the Eddie Alvarez fight. That oh, was, it was after uh, that. Yeah, Mexico City. Yeah. Okay. And then since then, he's lost to to the Barbosa and Jeremy Stevens. Um, I, I feel like that is gonna be just in the chapter of his careers as Gilbert Melendez continued his decline from age and wear and tear. He also tested positive for performance answer. I don't. I don't think it's gonna affect his legacy. For people that watch Strike Force, even saw him back in Pride back in the day. I mean, he was a very good fighter. He's gonna be on that list with Shinya Yoki, Josh Thompson, um, uh, Kawajiri, the top lighter weight lightweight fighters in the world for a long time, not in the UFC. And then he, when he finally got to the UFC, he, you know, he, he didn't get it done. But Gilbert Melendez, Gilbert Melendez to me will always be remembered as a very good fighter, a talented fighter, um, you know, top 10, top 15 lightweights of his generation. And, and you know, he's a guy that he always, fe it always felt like, yeah, he's got less fights than some than say like a K guard Musasi, but like the wear and tear seemed to be obvious as he went along. He was never an over uber athletic guy. The older he got, the more wear and tear. It had an effect on him. He started to slow down. It, you know, you can do but so much technique at the highest levels when the guys start getting just as technical and maybe a little bit more athletic. So I think it's going to affect his legacy in no way. Yeah, I, I don't think this has any effect on his legacy, uh, mainly because we don't remember it really. Yeah. It, it's, yep. it's, it's kind of an afterthought almost. Um, I think by the time he popped, for whatever i can't remember what substance it was but when he popped for peds his legacy kind of already was set yep at that point we knew he probably wasn't going to get the belt like mm -hmm. by that point he had already lost his title challenge against anthony pettis he yep. previously lost the title challenge against benson henderson um i think before those results came back from that eddie alvarez fight it just seemed like okay this he's he's not going to be the guy uh in the ufc and it's okay because he had such a long run outside of it. That's where his legacy was set. His legacy was set in Strike Force. His legacy was was set uh, in Dream, and you know everywhere but the UFC. Essentially, I believe he held the WEC belt for a little bit also. So mm -hmm. um, he, his legacy was set everywhere but the UFC, and and that's fine. That's fine. It's just the the PED thing. If anything is going to look like okay, this was age. This was him trying to keep up. Uh, as as opposed to oh he's been doing this the whole time, um so yeah his legacy is unchanged but this excuse me I I don't I don't think there's any any effect to his legacy whatsoever.